G'day YouTubers, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. What we're looking at in today's video is how we remove the original wheel set from the van, how we remove the springs and we break them down for restoration and that process. And then how we put it all back together and refit it to the van, upgrading to a 2000 kilo electric brake wheel set. We've got these uh, rusty old rims, they're going to be replaced with uh, the new, because we're upgrading to 2000 kilo running gear all the way through. So these are going to be removed. The uh, wheel nut has been pretty much chewed out, there's no way we can get that off. Uh, so what we're going to do is just slice, slice through the middle of it so both sides of the nut fall off. So it ends up looking like this. And we just knock that and we come off with a hammer. So now I've removed the wheel, we need to remove the axle and the harness. That requires removing this part from right here and dropping down the springs. So basically you just release those. So once you re remove the nut, just give it some WD-40 to penetrate for a while and then tap it out with a centre punch. Boom. So if your shackle bolts look like this, it's probably time to uh, cut them off and replace them. They're no good, you'll never get them clean and especially they're a bit compromised with all that corrosion and stuff, so we cut them off from here, remove the springs, start again. So now we've got the springs off, and Ben's about to cut these uh, cut these bolts off so we can release the spring. We want to pull all these apart and separate by undoing that, and they'll open up. Take that bolt out, and we'll remove these, clean them all up, and put it back together. That's been cut off now, but remember these are under tension. So as we release this, it'll start to uh, come out. You can see the springs opening up there. So if you just cut that bolt, they'll release uh, quickly rather than slowly like this in a controlled manner. And now Ben's got that off, you can lay it on its side and separate the springs. Get in to clean them, mate. There you go. And get some more off. You can see all that inside here with all that corrosion and stuff, that's what we want to clean up. So that we can get, the, get rid of all this, so the springs rub against each other and uh, don't seize up, they actually behave like a spring. Lovely. So you can see here we've got a build up of crud and corrosion and stuff. What we want to do is clean all of this off. For that we use this little tool. It's a uh, like a needle gun. You basically put it on there. And as you can see, it'll knock all that heavy, this sort of corrosion and dirt and grime and build up off. We want to get it back as far as we can, and then we'll give it a bit of a, a bit more of a clean up and get them as clean as we possibly can before we put on a corrosion inhibitor and uh, put them back together. So these have all been needle gunned. And kind of most of the corrosion's gone. We're back to uh, good metal there. So now we'll apply a coat of tannic acid, uh, and that'll stabilise the remaining corrosion that's on there, uh, and give a bit of prevention from further corrosion. So here's the springs, all uh, tannic acid treated and stabilised. As you can see, they're a bit dusty, but. Uh, Nicely stabilised, solid, ready to go back together. So to put the springs back together we basically just reverse the process so we stack them back up. 
replace those bolts because they're a bit old. So I've got some new high tensile um, that will pop back in there. I've used this big G clamp to compress them and this uh, bit of rod here to locate the centre holes. So we'll now replace this bolt, replace these bolts and the springs will be back together, ready to go back on the van. There we go, back together. Now we've just got to fit these uh, with a bit of tube and we're done. You can see here we've got the springs back in place. I've just popped a temporary uh, bolt in there. Greasable shackle bolts will go back in when they turn up. Um, so we've just got this in position. and putting these shackle bolts to hold this all in. We have a, uh, a new shackle plate, some shackle bolts and things. You'll note when you get these they come with a standard little bolt. I like to replace those and put on a Loctite. Just a little bit of extra security, so you put on the um, split washer plus a Loctite and it, it, it'll be pretty good, they won't come off. So uh, we're going to pop those on now. So the shackle bolts simply fit over the top of uh, the axle. Here we've upgraded to a 50mm axle for a 2 tonne rating. Um, those shackle bolts are quite long, they're 160mm and they go all the way in. And then bolt on there as you can see. We've uh, put in two ton axle, it's quite a big hub. Um, that's for a six stud land cruiser, so rated up to a um, couple of ton. Take the load of uh, a food van. So that's it for today folks. I hope you got some value out of that. Uh, it's quite a convoluted job, so if you've got any questions, Throw them in the comments section down below and we'll endeavour to answer whatever we can. So in the next video we'll be looking at how we go about all of the structural repairs and, and reinforcement in the van. So tune in then.